I'm Lorraine Takaza. Today we are here at Carolina at Slovela location. We want to hear about the people who are staying here because they've been suffering day in, day out about the issue of water. So now we have one of the, our guests here to tell us about the water and all those stuff. Yes, and I is Carlo Guma Spala. So, Mangalela no Maspala Guna, Samixai, Carolitas, Layoko Court. In the back corner, bells of wires are motivating in Ango. Ba Maspala Chius and Mochincha, my piping over my pipe. Mr. Wilson said they raised a concern to the municipality and complained until it ended up in court. Then the municipality said they will change some pipes, but none of them were changed, and the water is still dirty. Corner a manzi, a map of holes community <clears throat> Mr. Wilson also said that he can't go and fetch water from the boreholes made by the Islamic organization because he's disabled so he drinks the dirty water from the tap. So gang cause of the willing is in Puzo on a one allow man's allow. In Carolina I also met a mine worker and his name is Jordan Mayava. What is the problem that you are facing around Carolina? Uh, according to the sources, because I'm not sure, but when uh, uh, the others say, they say it's a contamination from, from the mine. Uh, this problem started, I think it was 2010, when there was a lot of rain. And that dams become too full, and then they came out to 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 the other areas, and then goes to, to the river that day. Uh, goes to Silobella. You know Silobella? Uh, Silobella is um, where we get the water. They supply to the location and also Carolina. So how do you feel as the resident? What is the way forward? What are you doing about this issue? Yeah, at the moment, it's uh, very difficult because uh, we did uh, go to the municipality and then they did promise us that they will fix the problem and they did go and fix it, but when we try to, to look, uh, still the same, there is no different. So how do you feel as an employee at the mine? Yeah, uh, it's, it's very terrible because uh, at the mine they, they, they just uh, take these resources, but they don't uh, bring it back something to the community. It's, it's very, very terrible. I feel very bad. Yes, I agree, I'm a worker, but when it comes to the things from the community, it's, uh, I, I'm not happy at all. Okay, so now I want to know, what is the resident have done after they know the, the water issue? What have you done as the resident? What is the way for what you have done? Because you know that you are drinking dirty water. Uh, I remember uh, back in 2010, uh, there was an, a match that was organized by the, the members of the community. They went to, to the municipality and sent a memorandum and told the municipality that this water is not uh, good. They need uh, clean water. Okay, what had happened after I've interviewed some of the residents, I feel like I was thirsty. Then I went to the tap to see the water. Then... I'm going to find that the water, it was colorless, it was not the same, like the usually water that we used to drink, I saw there's a rusty, so we've decided to, um, to take, to drink Coke instead, because we can't take it anymore. The water issue is very tense in this area. Your name? Uh, can I stay anonymous? Okay, there's no problem. Yes. Um, what is the problem exactly? The people from the mine went to the municipality. That's one of the information I wanted to give you. When it w went to the municipality and give them money so that they will uh, clean the water and all that. But then even since today, it's still dirty. So what is the way forward then? 
I think the way forward is as for as a community to stand up and raise our voices so that we can be heard. But then now, uh, as this community, I don't think we can do that because we we have issues. If you are not someone from a certain party, you're not going to get uh, what you need. So what is going to happen for the future and what about this young generation if you ask it? You know what, we, uh, I think we have to wait and see. Because now nobody wants to sacrifice their lives. This is a Tuna Tazama production supported by Benchmark Foundation. And my name is Lorraine Kakaza from Carolina at Slovela.